We're on our first Protoss of the day. We have one of the most creative, edgy Protosses out there. Long time Prime. Oh, we. Now down to the bottom left on our one-on-one map. Oh, yes, stop. Yes, stop. Or Ox stop. Ox stop, perhaps. Perhaps I'm misreading that. Oh, is that a Does that say something? It's poor Marines. Did he make letters out of that? I don't know. I don't know if we could put something that violent on TV. I'm really not sure what this said. I'm sorry. I didn't even actually. I wish it. I was better at hieroglyphics, but I'm not. All right. <laughs> I spent my childhood playing StarCraft. I always feel like I'm trying to read hieroglyphics when uh, I try to read the Street Fighter Four move list. I'm like, could I this, know. I'm like, could this be any more vague? <laughs> I'm like, who made this, man? I love your game, but like, do I Seriously? really have to go on the internet and try to decipher what this is saying? Like, you can make charts and graphs tasteless. Yeah. You better have a whiteboard in your house. I'm gonna need one. By the way, we need to go into mandate soon, Artosis. Do we? Do the arcade. Yeah, we do. What do you is do? that your mandate? That's my, that's, what I'm, that's my idea of a mandate. Well, I was more like, is that your mandate that we go on a mandate? That's oh. my mandate. Hey, you want to hear a funny joke? No. What do you call a really good, or female viewers, what do you call a really nice date with a Chinese gentleman? What? The mandate of heaven. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I came up with that. That was me. Me. All right, on to this game. Terran versus Protoss, there's usually not a lot that can occur right at the start because the Protoss is, of course, going to chrono boost out of Stalker generally. And the Terran doesn't want to tip his hand as far as um, what he's going for as yeah. well. He wants to get two Marines out. Uh, oftentimes, the Protoss just checks and says, all right, he has gas, right? Okay, good. Yeah, that's pretty much all he's going to get out of that probe, aside from damaging a couple SCVs. Yeah. And uh, the SCV, though, it could possibly get a little bit more. But uh, normally you do, as you said, Chrono Boost out something with range so that it can actually die. And I believe that will be a Stalker, because normally if you get a Sentry, you already have a Zealot. It's kind of hilarious if a Marauder gets your ramp, you only have a Sentry up it. Yeah, that's like, actually a bad Well, do I feeling. force field it in or do I force field it out? Because I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you actually have to say to yourself, sometimes I don't make good choices. Uh, yeah. I do have some regrets in my life, but it is that I got a sentry and he happened to Marauder rush me. <coughs> Alright, so we do have from uh, OGS Ta, he's making a Marauder with concussive shells. So he's going to go ahead and do that Marauder expand, as you see the command center built there. Now, Hongan, we're about to see what he wants to do. We don't know yet. We no, don't know. I know one thing for sure. He's not mining from that uh, simulator, and that's not a mistake. Yeah, I he's think gonna he's... make a nexus and expand. Ooh, quick eye, tasteless. Quick the prophet. eye, the prophet. You, you got razor, laser, eagle eyes, man. I do. Shooting laser beams out of him. Yeah, take that, Cyclops. <laughs> take that, Cyclops. It's like, oh, tasteless got me again. He watches the GSL. You do look like Wolverine. Anyways, I do. if I don't shave, I do look like Wolverine. Um, well, sh the Nexus is going to be going down pretty quickly here. Looks like we're going to see some barracks added. And there you go. Top. Now, you know, this is a special kind of strategy because strategies like this, and I know it sounds weird when you're, when you're going to hear this, hear me say this, guys, but strategies like this only work against good people. Yeah. Somebody who's not good says, oh, he got two gases, and he's not even going to... He said, well, you might not even pay attention to how many gases he's good. Frankly, I don't even think... I don't know, man. I mean, even at Masters right now, people are still not doing a good job of being perceptive of everything they see. Well, it's a hard thing. It's hard. It takes years and years and years you, of practice. Yeah, usually it's people that just came from StarCraft 1 where they're used to this kind of stuff. Yeah. They're having to read everything. It's hard to keep track of all those things right now. You have to keep track of Chrono Boost, how many probes they have, how many pylons they have. And with Chrono Boost and stuff, that changes the math, so... It's quite a difficult thing to do. The reason why I'm saying this only works against people who are really, really good is good people will always react properly. Say, well, two gases. Okay, I know he's not going to get a fast next. And that means I want to do this. There's an interesting place there that overlaps where you get mind games where you're like, well, he's doing that. Is he doing that to trick me in this way? Yeah. And then you might have someone predict it and beat it anyways. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, say, well, this guy's uh, play style um, is one where he's going to do you know, something like this. Guess what we're going to see, Tasteless. Gateways abound. 
Many gateways. We're going to see an MC style attack. A bajillion sentries. And then a ton of other gateway units. And he's just going to try and go and kill top. And I think it is a reasonable choice for Hong in here. Top gets really scary later in the game. His macro is impeccable. And hit him early, hit him hard. If I can, if I can call this right idea. now, I think this will actually kill him. Uh, uh, Hongan will kill Top. Well, with Top has something to say about that. Stim just finishing up. He's moving up the map a bit. Scanning, seeing a lot of gates. No, he's not, actually. He only sees three. Oh, that's true. He did only see three. So, he's, um, uh-oh. There he might are no be like, zealots there to, to tank any damage. Hongan so. did a good job of spreading out those gateways. Yeah, he really did. Uh, but Hongan's going to want to get some zealots in there very quickly in case Top does choose to move all the way in. I like what Top is doing here, though. Just staying on three barracks and then going straight up to Starport. You know, if you do any more than three barracks, it gets a little bit all in -y. You really don't have any tech. And if Protoss crushes yeah. the attack, you're pretty much done for. Hongan being very smart, by the way, warping some zealots. And now, oh, ooh, I like, I like that. that a lot. Do you like that? I like that. Yeah, that's my favorite flavor of ice cream. Stimming some reeds, running, and killing a few probes, man. I wish Ben and Jerry don't brought serve that, that at Baskin Robbins. All right, <laughs> fifty-one flavors. What? Uh, now it's a timing attack. This is sort of um, one of these builds where there's not a ton you can do if it doesn't work out. It's based on. Having so many force fields, that you can basically restructure the positioning of your opponent's oh, army. This is all about to change if he kills the probe. Probe gets away. What are you doing, probe? Oh, make another pylon. All right. I'll let, the, let that pass. He is so angry that it's pylon is dying. He's going to charge at the marauders. All right, so some bunkers are being made, but remember, proper micro against those bunkers, they aren't quite as useful. You heard it here. And remember, force field can be casted. Um, still touching the bunker. The zealots aren't in the front. The zealots but he is going. Oh, that's a mistake not having them in the front there. Not dealing a lot of damage though. More zealots are streaming in. He needs to get rid of that bunker. He's got to have another force field line set up here. There you go. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect amount of sentries so far. But as the sentries fall, so will Hongan's army. Only one sentry left. Now it looks like he is totally owning. Yes, but. It's about to turn around into Top's favor if he can just get a few more units out here. Losing a lot of SCVs, but the sentries are gone. Losing one stalker, but the zealots come in. Has he done enough damage? He needs to warp in more units, send him down. He needs at least one more sentry with this group. And in fact, I think Hongan may have done enough damage, Tasteless. Like even so. if he loses all these units, I don't think he it will. I think matter. he's actually going to win this game right now. Yeah, I think so. Top does not want to lose that, brings down all his SCVs. I was going to say, we need a sentry so we can force build the ramp and kill the um, command center, but in fact, Top just runs down his, uh, the ramp and just decides, well, yeah. it's now or never, I don't want to play a long game here. And suddenly, Top, who felt so confident against Hongan, is going to be having to play Nada for his life. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty rough. Kiting not so good when Stalker's around. And that's just too much damage, GG. GG. Wow. Man. You know, Hung had just, speed. he had enough. You know, a lot of times, like for instance, when we saw Soki Su do it recently. Yeah. Uh, when you run out of those force fields, Terran sits back, gets a few units, and then attacks. Uh, it can spell disaster for the Protoss army, what's left yep. over. But uh, that time, Hung definitely did have enough units, cleaned it all up. Top scrambled down and tried to save that command center. Just could not do it. No. Top very upset with himself there, realizing well, you know, he may be eliminated. Top very soon. is one of these guys, it kind of reminds me of um, Hyperdub, where it's like he is such a student of players with good builds that somebody like Hongan could just fake him out. That's what he did. That's a, that is a very interesting way to put it, and I don't totally disagree with you there. Uh, different style from Hyperdub, but yeah, in the same way, he was tricked out a little bit. You yeah. know, that. That MC style attack came, and Top wasn't prepared for it. And, you know, I'm just so interested by that attack, because sometimes it rolls the Terran, and sometimes the Terran lives through it. And, well, uh, I, think, I think nowadays what we're seeing is Protosses are actually distributing the right number of force fields. Mm. Before, when it's we saw the, the, the MC rush, there'd be like 
Like with actually it's not the sound effect it makes. I thought it would come out more like a force field. So like, like that. It's like like you know, there's six force fields right at the start. Mm. And they spend them all. They only have one guardian shield. But really there's I think if I'm seeing this correctly, um, you wanna have I think about four force fields the first time and we saw then three to four this the, the second time around. Because it's two force fields in a row. You don't just spam all out at once. Okay, there's no more time. We got a break. We'll be back in just a minute here with Taysen Artosis. This is the GSL. <laughs> 